Let me begin by saying that uh, it's very interesting what is happening. This is a complete travesty of the rule of law. The speaker has turned into a prefect, a person who wants to mendle in affairs of other political parties, and is completely partisan. We know the character of the speaker. We do not wish to discuss his character here, but these standing orders that the speaker has chosen to violate give us room. And we are now contemplating exercising our right understanding order number 16, which is the removal of the speaker. This is the next motion that we are going to bring. And I want to, to be very, very candid here, that what has transpired here in the House is something which is going to take this country back. We have a letter here, which I'll be happy to give you a copy, that the speaker received it on the 14th, and he signed it. He signed having received it, and he actually signed it and, and forwarded it to the clerk to deal. What should have ensued is simple, as per standing order number 23, for just 23, for him to simply uh, communicate. But what we are seeing is that we are seeing an incompetent speaker. So this house has got no choice but to begin the process of removing. You know, I've tried to advi advise the speaker that it's too early to lose this house. We know the speaker ran away from the chambers today, and the whole of next week he'll be out of this country using public funds, going all the way for having fun in Cyprus, instead of doing what he's supposed to do. You know, to tell you the truth, these are chances where if you had a room, you just put it in his head. You know, because it doesn't make sense. What we, when you look at Article 107 of the Constitution, it is quite clear. It says the speaker presides on the House. If the speaker is not there, the deputy speaker does the same. The deputy speaker, who is our colleague, you know, really ended up contradicting himself. He said, if you give me the communication, I will read the communication. You know, the, majority, the minority leader gave him the communication, but he chose not to. So these kind of games are games that we are not going to allow to happen. We know quite a lot about the speaker. And I can tell you that we will not hesitate to unearth everything. Yeah. Yes. It is going to be messy, to borrow the words of uh, the current speaker. It is going to be nasty, you know. And this small action where he decides to completely rape the Constitution, rape the standing orders, and give himself powers that he doesn't have will really cost him dearly. So I want to tell Kenyans what has happened today is an attempt to gag the uh, Azimio, which is currently the opposition, from representing itself and also representing them. We serve at the pleasure of the people who have elected us. All these senators whom you see here have been elected by people from their counties. And others have been specially elected to represent special interest. Nothing will continue in that house until the speaker does what the, what the standing order says for him to do. It is not for him to find out what happened. It is not for the speaker to, be, to prefect political parties. We know that he's still the chairperson of his party, you know, pa. And we know so many other things which I'm sure next week will be very interesting. He can go and have his fun in Cyprus, but we will make sure that we start publishing what we know is really nasty. So you wait, and you'll see what will happen.